stuff today. So I'm doing filming with this white screen behind me and I've got a new microphone, which the microphone is called a blue snowball. That's kind of quite portable and it looks a bit retro futuristic, which is quite appropriate because I'm going to do something that inspires me today um, that's retro futuristic. So I'm going to show you um, basically this book and this book is called The Little Book of Vintage Space. And I'm just going to take it close to the camera so you can see in detail. Let's get it pulled. Okay, so it's focused. Little Book of Vintage Space comes with a free fridge magnet, which is here. Look at that. Adventures into the unknown. Put that on your fridge. And the book is by a company called ilexpress.com. And I got it from Blackwell, which is a nice little bookshop in Edinburgh. So there you go. And, it's, and they've got other books in the series as well. They've got one on sci-fi. So I presume the sci-fi one won't have stuff on space so much. Who knows? Um, and why does this book inspire me? So basically this book inspires me because it has... I don't know if you can see, but it's got loads and loads of cool, completely random stuff from sort of n probably 1940s and 1950s, not films, comics and stuff. So let's just take this one close as an example. What's this, a spaceship? And it's keeping up with my satellite. So <laughs> it's just got so many cool things. And this is really good for inspiration. You know, for example, if you're... Um, an illustrator, an animator, making art, music even, writing even, you know, something like this that is really a good resource for ideas. And at the same time, you know, if we all have boards on Pinterest and, you know, and folders full of stuff, but, you know, it's really nice to have something that's physical. So we pick it up and then we can just look at it immediately so because with the folders on the computer we just we can not not remember them you know we can just forget about them um, this is quite a good uh, little one here the woman looks really strange um, oh if only some being would come and solve our world problems <laughs> and they look really strange those humans almost like aliens this is a nice bit as well so it's like the rocket sequence firing you know for example you could make even like cool 3D boxes and model a rocket in 3D as a 3D model. Some sort of cool maker project like that. Um, so I'm just going to show you something that sort of retrofuturistic that I made. You've, you might have seen this if you've been following my work. Hopefully you will be able to see it when the f camera focuses. It's, oh man, please focus. Okay, I'm gonna, sorry about this. I'm going to switch this to... Oh, it just focused. There you go. So that's quite a rough model. That's a test. I just wanted to see how it's going to print. And this kind of robot is for a new project that I'm making. I'm going to go to the Mac Lab next week and get some new prints of it. And there you go. So this, is, this model was modeled up very quickly from a... A photograph that was retro futuristic so it wasn't from this book um, but it was kind of a similar thing and and I got that from a movie clip and the movie clip is a Russian film I just found on YouTube and it's called Voyage to the Planet of Prehistoric Women um, so it's a bit of a strange name um, but you know that that's just the way it goes and I think I think the film was trying to copy Hollywood there so it's, and they kind of copied it and got it a bit wrong but at the same time it's quite interesting <laughs> as well um so there you go and i've got some more stuff so if you've seen my montreal work this is just some very rough light print postcards of the montreal work and again you can see the retro futuristic um, imagery in that as well um so there you go and this book is good and it's got other books in the series as well as i said um, so I'd recommend that and I hope you like this screencast and I'm going to do more inspiration screencasts like this with this nice white screen that I bought and my microphone and I've got the new webcam which I really like but 
as I can say, as you can see, the autofocus sometimes is a bit slow. So that's a Logitech HD 1080p Pro or something. I don't want to get too techy. And um, that's it. So thanks very much for listening. Remember to check out my art site, jamesableart.com, for more of my work, my artwork and resources. And also subscribe to my channel. That would be great. Thanks very much. And I'll speak to you soon. 